Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, if you missed it last night, we had our live stream and my wife joined us. You know, she used to do those with me all the time and she's not been feeling too well, a um, little ill for the last couple of months, but she's she's really trying to trying to make it a point to, to be on as many live streams as she can when she's feeling like it. So it was a, it was a really good one. I think it was a definitely w worth going back and watching again which you can you can watch it on the replay uh, so that is out there um i want to give a shout out and a thanks and uh, uh just showing my my gratitude to george soros that's right george soros the the, the man himself uh, in case you didn't know george soros is the one that founded media matters uh, Media Matters, if you haven't, uh, if you've been under a rock for the last few days, is the one that did the hit piece on myself and several other homestead prepper YouTubers. And I just want to give George my thanks and gratitude because uh, just yesterday I gained almost 600 subscribers uh, and a, a couple of hundred the day before. Uh, and it was pretty much because of that article from Media Matters. So thank you, George. Thank you. It was I, it was a good little boost. Um, <clears throat> speaking of that, I guess it's at least within some kind of context. Um, I just wanted to remind you or let you know in case you didn't see in the news that Tyson Foods has decided to they've been laying off American workers and they're going to start replacing them with illegal workers from migrant workers now you know media matters kind of said that i was being such a horrible person by saying that these illegals are coming here to this country to take your jobs uh to replace you in the military to replace your votes and that that was just horribly bigoted of me but um tyson is is laying off lots of american workers and they're replacing them with something around 40,000 migrant workers is what they're hoping to hire. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not right in, in that respect. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm just incorrect. But um, <clears throat> just thought I'd throw that out there. I, I think that there's probably still some people out there uh, that watch this channel, but maybe not that many, that are still wondering what really is all going on with all of this. Like, what is the point? Not the point of you and I and what we're doing, but the point of the left and their this 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 evil machine that they are that they are kind of ramrodding down everyone's throat. What what are what is their end goal? Why are they doing this? Why is everything so radically changed just in the last few years? I, I mean, you could certainly see a pattern of change leading up to it, but. Uh, man, by 2020, it just, it was like the, the turbo and the supercharged and the nitro and everything else was kicked in. And it's just been crazy town every day of, you know, drinking water is a sign of white supremacy. Uh, just today I saw uh, marriage, marriage is a sign of white supremacy. Uh, you know, all of this absolute insanity. Men can have babies. A child can choose its gender. I mean, just absolute insanity. Insanity. That only just a few years ago, not generations ago. You know, not, not, not back when the boomers were running the world. Just a few years ago, most of the things that are being said today in the mainstream would have been looked upon as insanity and laughed at by the vast majority of the world. And yet today, well, today it seems like it's just becoming normalized. And the folks like you and I that are laughing at it, the folks like that you and I are, are, are understanding the insanity and calling it out for that. We're saying that this is insane. We're, we're telling it that these are lies. These are absolute lies that are being spoken, and this is insanity. Well now, well now we're the bad guys, right? We're the, we're the ones that are evil. We're, we're the bad guys that are saying that, you know, it's really dangerous to allow 300 plus thousand people a month to come across the border illegally 
from third world countries not really knowing who they are or what they're doing here or what they're bringing with them. That's dangerous. And for me to say that, well, that's a horrible thing for me to say. We should just let anyone and everyone come into this country. I mean, you should probably do that to your home too. Just open your home up and allow anyone that wants to walk through the door, come through it. I mean, even in Canada now, I guess up in Toronto, the police are telling you to, to leave your keys, to leave your keys on your doorstep or in your car so that when criminals come through and they wanna steal your car, that they don't necessarily have to kick your door in and damage your house or threaten you. They can just take your keys to your car and leave or they can just go through it and steal what they want out of it. Leave the trunk lid open and the doors unlocked and just, just let them take what they want. It's just a much easier process. I mean, it's hard work thieving. And so, you know, we want to be compassionate to those people thieving and, and make their job a little bit easier. So leave the doors open and unlocked, leave your keys in your car, and that way they can just take what they want and they don't have to work as hard. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is what it's become, right? And I think there's still a lot of people out there that are saying, what in the world is going on? I mean, did, did, I, did I fall asleep and wake up in some dystopian nightmare? Am, am I in a nightmare? Is, what's going on? Was there really some kind of time shift, reality shift change that now I'm in some other place? I don't know. Well, I think I might have an answer for you. <clears throat> it's called the Great Reset. And I know that's oversimplifying it for an answer, but really that is what it is. Um, I mean, the, the, the term the Great Reset was just some fancy little wrapped up with the bow type of term that these elites have used. Uh, but it, it, that, that is what's going on. You see, these, these people, these, these evil, evil people that are trying to take over everything, they, they want to bring about this, this Marxist-style revolution into our lives to where they hold everything. They own everything. You will own nothing and you'll be happy, but they will own everything. They will control everything. They will control all the resources, all the people. They'll even control your thoughts. I mean, the technology exists right now and, and they've openly talked about using it. Uh, in fact, Canada has even talked about you know thought crimes. And so they want to absolutely control everything. They feel that they are gods. Of course, they're wrong, but that's what they feel like they are and that they want to exert their control and their brilliant knowledge and, and wisdom over all of humanity. The problem is, is that there's really one thing standing in its way and it's not just you and I. I mean, yes, we are part of that. We are kind of the, those patriots, those liberty-loving, you know, God-fearing patriots. But it's even more than that. What's standing in their way is just really Western civilization. Um, you know, things that are based on scientific proofs, things that are f based in uh, biblical truths, you know, traditional family values, uh, marriage. Wow, it's amazing that one man and one woman should be together. Um, biblical truths of right and wrong. Uh, things that, that even for those that don't believe in the Bible, they understand that there are certain laws and certain things that man should abide by and that they are based in biblical teachings. Uh, these types of things are just, they're kind of the bedrock of our society. And they know that as long as that exists, as long as there's an alternative to their plan that exists, that there's a chance that some, if not many people, will choose to stick with the old traditional plan and not accept their new ways. And so the only way for their Great Reset Agenda 2030, the beast system, the only way for it to happen is they have to destroy Western civilization. And that's exactly what's going on. That's why you see everything now, it's racist. Everything is bigoted. Uh, everything that is good is now evil and evil is now good. Uh, everything that it was once right is now wrong and vice versa. This, this has become the norm. I mean, it is right out of the 1984 playbook. It's, it's actually right out of biblical prophecy. 
that what we once thought and were told was the right thing to do and that was good and that was moral, well, we're now being told that it's just the opposite of that and that we want to embrace immorality. We want to embrace confusion. We want to embrace mental uh, illness. We want to embrace uh, just evilness and crime and, and diabolical behavior. That's what we want to embrace because that's, that's considered the acceptable norm now. And what that does is it completely destroys the bedrock of our civilization, which is really a Christian morality. I mean, that, that's really what it is. Uh, that, that's really what the Western civilization has become. Uh, just simple freedoms and, and, and very much of a libertarian idea that, uh, you know, I, I own my body and as long as I'm not hurting you, then, then what I'm doing is fine, but that we need to respect everyone and that there should be certain laws that, that kind of govern our society that are just laws, that are based on biblical truth. These are kind of foundational principles of our society. And they're trying to completely destroy that. They want to create as much chaos and havoc as they can. Because the more chaos that ensues in our civilization, then the more the people will be willing to accept whatever is offered to them. Out of desperation, the people will accept anything, really, if things are bad enough, if the money system is broken enough, if just civility in our society is broken enough, if, if there's enough chaos and enough violence and enough just insanity, then the average person will accept whatever plan is concocted by the elites and it, with claims that it will solve all of these problems. The average person will accept that. And that's really what the plan is, to make things as bad and as awful as they can to break it down, like I've said many times, that's what a reset is. A reset isn't just changing things. A reset is bringing it down to zero, is bringing it back down to nothing. It's turning it off and then turning it back on to something new. That's what a reset is. And that's exactly what we're seeing, folks. We are seeing our whole society, everything, everything that has just been the norm for all these generations are being completely flipped up on its head. It's being destroyed purposefully so that at some point they can say, ah, but we have a plan, we have a fix, and here it is. So when you see these articles by the George Soros's Media Matters and, and all of these other mainstream media groups telling you that it's racist for you to be married and to drink water, and math is racist, and meat is unhealthy, but uh, M&Ms are healthy, and, and, and the vaccines say li save lives, and all these other things that are, that are being purported out there in <laughs> La La Land, uh, know that that's the reason why it's happening. You're not crazy. You're not you know, confused, you're not sitting here thinking, wait a minute, when did that become accepted? When did it become accepted that a, that a man can have a baby? When did it become accepted that a five-year-old can, can choose its gender? When did it become accepted that a 45-year-old uh, can choose to uh, be, a, a, you know, attracted to a child and that's okay? When, when did those things become accepted? They aren't, folks. They never have and they never will be but they have to push this evil satanic narrative so that they can destroy what we have, so that they can bring about something new, something new that uh, is very much, I believe, part of the end times prophecy of the beast system. So that's why we have to get ready for it because we're caught up in this, you know. We may not be of this world, but we're in it. We're in this world and we have to endure to get to the end. And part of that is, is trying to figure out how to exist without getting caught up in all of this. And that's why I advocate being self-sufficient, to having a community around you that, that, that community becomes self-sufficient. The community doesn't need that much, if anything, outside of the community. And if you can do that, it, <clears throat> it greatly increases your chances of surviving all of this and not getting caught up in it. 
Because the more you're dependent upon this evil system, the greater chance it is that it's gonna drag you down with it. So folks, it's time to get your houses in order and to prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.